Welcome back to the lesson of Microsoft Word. In this lesson, we're going to learn about how we can apply graphic objects in Microsoft Word. Well, there are a lot of graphic objects which you can apply in a Word document, but we, we're going to like keep on the basics and keep the lesson a bit subtle. Okay. So first off, if you want to add in graphic, you know, graphic objects, first, what you have to do is just go to insert. When you go to insert and this tab you can see that there are a lot of graphic objects which you can apply so one of the main of the graphic objects which you can apply is going to be in this illustrations option okay you can see that there are pictures shapes icons 3d models smart art charts screenshots and a lot of them you can also get add-ins my add-ins wikipedia online videos links bookmarks cross-reference comments header footer text box and a lot more and then we can also use symbols so what we're going to do or show you is going to be some of those illustrations symbols and then some text okay so first off we're going to show you how you can add in a picture just click on this picture option and you can select whichever or wherever you want to add the picture from first i'm going to do is show you from my device so i'm going to click on my device and from here you can just select on whichever one you want double click on it or just click on and hit enter and it will be directly applied to your document and then when you click on this picture you can see another tab opens up the, another tab is called the picture format because this is a picture it's gonna open a picture format just go to the picture format and you will be able to apply or format your picture however you want and you can also make styles out of it and picture effect you can also sometimes add text over here okay you can also crop it let's say I'm gonna crop this one a bit because I don't want this to be this big so I'm gonna crop it up till here and crop it up till a bit here okay and then click on this crop again and you can see that the picture has now been cropped and you can apply it or use it however you want to you can like rotate it you can keep it however you want to well that's totally up to you how you're going to use it okay so this is how you will be able to use uh, pictures in your document but if you want to use picture from stock images or online pictures that is also up to you you just have to stay connected to the internet just select on whichever photo you want and just press insert and it will be directly applied to your you know document okay so what you're going to do is just click on it and then just press on insert well this also works the same way on using online pictures too but I prefer using my pictures from my PC because you can use whichever one you want because sometimes in this online pictures and you know stock pictures you don't get the exact type of picture you want you can select you know whichever kind of picture you want let's say I want background you can select whichever one you want and just like that just press insert and it will be directly applied to your document okay next what I'm going to show you is going to be applying shapes so if you want to apply shapes just click on this shapes option and you can see that there are a lot of shapes which you can apply now let's say I'm going to apply this I'm going to show you two different ways now as I can see what you're going to do is just click onto your left mouse key and drag it like like increase the size or decrease the size however you want to and it will be applied to your you know document another way of like when you click on it and you can see that this time shape format option or shape format tab has opened up you can apply your shape however you want to let's say no outlines if you don't want any outlines then you can shape the fill however you want to that's totally up to you you can all text position wrap text that's like totally how you're gonna do it okay let's say when you double click on it and you will be able to apply text to another like uh, tip to how you can like add in your shape and want to be perfect what you can do is like let's say I'm gonna use this now what you're gonna do is hold on to your shift key and then like drag your mouse and make a shape and now you can see that the cross is now perfect even if you however you drag it it's still gonna be perfect so I'm gonna show it to you with a circle later on so let's make a circle so when you're making this you can see that it might be a bit different or how you can like you know when you keep it like this it's gonna change the shape however you ch like you know drag your mouse to be but if you go to shapes and then go to circle and my bet and go to circle and then what you're gonna do is hold on to your shift and drag it wherever you want it's still gonna be the perfect sized circle however you drag it to be okay it's not gonna change the shape so this is how you will be able to add in shapes however you want you can add in more type of shapes which you see over here even if you want to change this or use this you can see this how you will be able to apply you can also change it however you want it to be let's say where well, you see this uh, yellow dots over here you can change it however you want okay 
that's like totally up to you how you're gonna make them you can also change it from here see so it's like totally up to you how you're gonna edit or make your shape okay next what I'm gonna show you is gonna be icons well icons are a bit different well when you add pictures the formats are kind of like PNG or JPG right well those type of pictures might like lose or get pixelated when you increase the size okay uh, according to the resolution but icons are a bit different because even if you like you know change the resolution or change their size it's still not gonna get pixelated so I'm gonna do is click on icons and you can see uh, there are a lot of there's gonna be a lot of icons which you're gonna see over here so select on whichever one you want let's say I'm gonna use this two. I'm gonna hit insert and you can see that they are now applied I'm gonna increase the size and yet they will not lose its its you know its resolution or get pixelated because these are called scalable vector graphics because it's like made in such a way because these uh, icons are filled with you know pixels so much that it doesn't you know get or maybe like gets pixelated you can also convert them to shape and you can see that there will be two shapes now okay well two these twos are now different okay so this is how you will be able to apply icons in Microsoft Word well you can also use them in Microsoft Excel and also Microsoft PowerPoint so all of them has the same step how you can apply them now go to insert you can also add 3d models if you want to like add 3d models just click on 3d models and it will open up online 3d models which is going to be stock also click on whichever one you want let's say I'm going to add in the dinosaur which I saw right now or maybe something else let's say I'm going to add in this okay just press insert it's gonna download your you know 3d model it's gonna take some time and then after a while it's just gonna apply the 3d model in your document and you can like see however you want like in your POV and even also make it move like animate right so you have to wait for a while so just as my 3d model has been applied in my document just as you can see now I can play it however I want and also like in my POV I can change it however I want you can increase the size too and it's still not gonna get pixelated because it's made in such a way it's not gonna get pixelated but you're gonna get like a full view of it okay now another way of what you can do is just go to 3d models and you can change it like change the you know change their animation however you want see you can change their animation and your POV however you want them to look like you can also reset 3d model okay you can also add scenes which you can see over here let's say add scene 2 which you can see over here you can also add more scenes which you can see over here this is scene 3 4 and also scene 5 well some of them has more of these scenes because some like prefer seeing more of these animations okay you can also wrap text bring forward upward pan zoom that's going to be totally up to you how you're going to do it okay so it's more like more doable in powerpoint presentation because you get more of the spaces okay but i'm going to delete all of these icons which i'm see over here what i'm going to do is just select all of them i'm just going to select them and i'm going to do is delete them one by one because i don't need all of them okay my um, bad I deleted the wrong one so now what I'm gonna do is just keep it over here and you can apply it however you want another thing what you can do over here is gonna be smart art and charts you can add charts however you want well according to that just press on select whichever one you want whichever category you want and you're gonna get a preview just press on OK and we will see it will be applied directly to your like your you know your document you can also add something like smart art graphics which will also apply you to make your listing look a bit more better okay you're gonna get a preview of it okay just press on OK and it will be directly applied okay and the last one which is gonna be also screenshots if you want to take screenshots click on screenshots and you will see that this will appear up and let's say hit on it and you can see that you will be able to apply your screenshot and your Microsoft document 
So I hope you guys like understood most of it and how you can apply graphic objects. You can also add symbols. Well, just go to symbols, click on symbols, and you will be able to apply your symbol however you want to. Okay, hit on delete. And you can also see more symbols and the more symbol of you can like literally see a lot of them. Just select on whichever one you want. And just press on like click on them and hit, hit enter and they will be like applied to your you know document so hope you guys like understood everything on the basic ones how you will be able to apply graphic objects so this is gonna be it for this lesson and thank you for watching this video